share your happiness. After the fast of thirty days came the pious festival of Eid ul Fitr. On this auspicious occasion, everybody wore new clothes. Many people were rushing towards the mosque. The faces of everyone, children and grown-ups, rich and poor, were glowing with unusual happiness. There were long queues of people outside the mosque. Imam Sahab was explaining the importance of prayer of Eid through the microphone of the mosque. He was also throwing light on the ritual of Fitr, the alms given after the prayers of Eid. He explained that every capable person was supposed to give Fitr. After briefing about all the rituals to be observed, Imam Sahab asked the people to offer the namaz. As the namaz got over, people wished each other Eid Mubarak and hugged one another. Then they happily returned to their homes. Sadiq was alighting the steps of the mosque with his father. He saw a poor boy who was clad in rags and was begging humbly, "Sir, give me some money or food. I haven't eaten for days. Let me also have something on Eid." Seeing his pitiable condition, Sadiq stopped that very instant and put his hand in his pocket to give some money to the boy. But he found that he had left his purse at home. How sad he felt! Sadiq reached his house thinking about the poor boy. After wishing happy Eid to everyone at home, he went to his room. The face of the poor boy was still before his eyes, and his voice echoed in his ears. How miserable that boy looked! He could not even afford to eat, even on Eid. I should have helped him. Oh, why did I forget to carry my purse? Thought Sadiq with regret. What happened to you, Sadiq? Why are you sitting all alone here? Asked his mother, entering the room. Come, have some sevaya. Sadiq replied softly. No, Ammi, I don't feel like having it now. Why? Asked his mother anxiously. What has happened to you? Sevaya is your favorite dish. And today you do not want it? Uh, don't worry, Ammi. Uh, I'm fine, said Sadiq, smiling. His mother told him to come out to have the delicacy. Sadiq got up unwillingly with the picture of that poor boy lingering in his mind. Suddenly he heard the voice of the same boy on the streets. He quickly took out a ten rupee note from his drawer and ran out to the boy along with the bowl of sevaya he was about to have. He saw him begging at his neighbor's door without any luck. Sadiq rushed to him and gave him the money and food. The boy's face lit up. He said to Sadiq, May God bless you. May you never be short of happiness. He bowed to Sadiq in gratitude and started gulping down the sevaya hungrily. Sadiq was very happy to see the boy eat with satisfaction. Just then, Sadiq felt somebody's hand on his shoulder. He turned around and saw his father carrying a huge bag. He asked his father, What is in this bag, Abba? Your old clothes and some eatables, said his father. My old clothes? Sadiq was surprised. Where are you going with them? Come with me? And see for yourself, said his father and started walking. Sadiq followed him. After going some distance, they reached a slum area. The people there were living in small huts and in very poor conditions. His father pointed towards them and said, 
my dear son, here live the people who seldom get two square meals a day. Leave aside decent clothes. It is our duty to help such people. That's why I have brought these things for them. I want you to distribute it all among them. Hmm? Sadik took the bag and did as his father had told. His eyes were sparkling with happiness and excitement. He had experienced the real joy of the festival of Eid today.